outside Taipei Main Station and we found like a tree. I thought it was a cherry blossom tree, but apparently it's not. <laughs> if you know what this is, please comment down below. So yeah, so now we're just waiting for the meetup time to start for the tour. So we have to be there at 7.30 but it's only like 7.15 so we still have some time. So we're just gonna sit here uh, for a bit outside. So we are here at the Yellow Geopark. Uh, it's around 8.40 a.m. and the weather is very cloudy. So I left my shades in the bus. So yeah, really excited to see the rocks. <laughs> So right now we are on the way to the Queen's Head. Apparently it's a one-way uh, traffic situation. We went to the exit first. So you have to go to the entrance first if you want to take pictures. Here we are. We're just gonna line up to take our photo with the Queen's Head. We've made it to the Queen's Head. My mom said that it shrunk na since the last time my grandmother's been here. But that's the queen's head. It does look like a queen sideways. So this place is actually really cool. Like weather-wise, it's cool and windy. But I really like like the, the aesthetic of the whole place. So for the other rocks, you would want to go into like area 1. Which is a separate area from where the queen's head was. So this one has like the princess rock, the ice cream rock, and the candle rock as well. So it's all that way. And basically it's just like a whole cluster of the rocks over here. Uh, we're not going to go there anymore because we're running out of time. We have to get back to the tour bus soon. And so yeah, we're just going to uh, head back to the bus now. We really took some pictures a lot in like area 2. Uh, it was really nice. So overall, I really like this place. Uh, it's really like clean, even if it's by the ocean. Like the smell of like ocean water isn't too overwhelming. I think older people would also really enjoy this place. If you have parents or grandparents who are still fit and able to walk, uh, you can take them here. We are at the Souvenir Street next to Yellow Ridge Park. <laughs> What a magnet! We made it to Diofen, and here's the family mart. Apparently, it's like the only family mart in the area. So if we ever get lost, we were taught to come here. So I think now we're just gonna go on like a quick tour of like the whole place, and then we're gonna have lunch. Here we are, Diofen. <laughs> Very, very narrow street, also very crowded. We are inside of the Geofen street area. Very, very narrow, lots of shops. And there's so many like restaurants, like noodles, fishball soup. And there's even a shinfu tang here. So there's lots to like do and lots to eat. We're now going down some very suspicious looking stairs. Hopefully we don't trip. <laughs> yeah. So apparently here in Jofen there are like three main areas. The first street that we were on was like the first main area and now we're headed into the second main area which is near the famous tea house. We are sitting down for like a quick snack. Uh, we found a fishball soup store that also sells red uh, meatball. So let me show you guys uh, the food. So this is like the meatball soup. It has like different kinds of meatballs, fishballs. And then we have the, the famous red uh, dumpling thing. I don't know what's inside, but I hope it tastes good. We got some stinky tofu here. Uh, we're really excited to try it. Here's a stinky tofu. Pizza. No, try it na. Okay. It's not stinky. <laughs> <laughs> we also bought some fruit jelly for pasalubong. 
now we're gonna try some of the grandma taro balls. Good. It's really, really good. It's soft and it's not sweet. It's good. Must try. This is a tea and a, something that is for you. This is a per person 300. Okay. We have five people 1,400. Okay. 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 Here's the tea. It's oolong tea. And she's gonna prepare it for us. Okay, so now we have to smell this. Nice. Yeah, the next time we later here to this second kind of corona glass here. That's really and the nice. Day, the glass, the and then here are the snacks or desserts part of the package. It's 300 Taiwan dollars per person. <laughs> Let's try this one. It's like green tea and red bean, I think. <laughs> we are done with the Ame Tea House. The tea was actually pretty good. And they did like a demonstration for us, right? So we need to like pour the tea and make it ourselves. But we could just couldn't do it right. <laughs> so yeah, now we're on the way back to the meeting place so that we can hop back on the tour bus so we can go to Shrifen next. To meet the point, there's a lot of this gacha machines. I might try for this one. Because what if I got the Becky sleeping one? That'd be so cute. So we put the coins here, then you twist it like that, and then something comes out. Ah, like this. Oh. Who did I get? Huh? Why is it a red car? Because we got a car kanina. The shop owner is letting us try again. She gave me money. So she's so nice. So let's go. Wonder who we got. Yay, we got Becky! Okay, this is the one I wanted. We made it to Shiffin Old Street and we're gonna get some lanterns flying. So, we have a lot of things to wish for. So we're gonna write them all down on the lanterns. Yeah, let's go! This is the situation right now. And here's the purple side. I'm gonna start writing on this one. This is what my mom wrote for the health and peace part. It's good health for everyone. If you want to switch sides, tell her, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna go over that again. This is the yellow side, which is wishing for money and wealth. Yeah, we're gonna follow him around to get the lantern lit. It's a bit noisy. Okay, wait a moment. Okay, thank you. Now uh, we're just waiting for our turn. Let go, let go! <laughs> there it is! Bye bye! Here it is! Okay, so we finished flying our lanterns here in Old Street. It was such a fun experience and I definitely recommend it if you're a bit sentimental. I think you would really enjoy it. So now we're just walking around Old Street because we have a bit of time to buy souvenirs before we head to the waterfall. So here's a nougat shop. Might get some stuff here because my mom likes nougat. So we'll see. So we got some of these peanut ice cream rolls. And here that's how they make it. And you can request for no cilantro, which is great because I hate cilantro. So yeah, let's go! Good! Hmm. <laughs> I just finished the peanut roll ice cream. So darn good. Here's the store brand. You guys should definitely check it out when you're here in Shrifen. I'll be thinking about this for a while. <laughs> 
just got some black pork sausage for 40 MPD. Here, here it is. <laughs> Yung ganisa nga. <laughs> this sweet, like, like a Chinese sausage that you would buy at the grocery. We are done with Shifen Old Street, so we're heading back to the bus now uh, to go to the waterfall, which is the last stop on this tour. Here we are. This is the suspension bridge. And yeah, it's really shaky. <laughs> So we have arrived at the waterfall park area. Wasn't as far as I thought it would be. So that's great. And here, we're at the observatory upstairs to get like a good view of the waterfall. <sighs> Our feet are dead. But <laughs> it's okay, the day is almost over. And we've been able to see so many good places throughout this tour. So you know it's all worth it. Here it is. That's the Shifan waterfall, guys. Looks pretty cool. So according to our guide, it's like little Niagara Falls because of the kind of waterfall that it is. It's a curtain waterfall. Uh, same as Niagara Falls. Kinda loud. I don't know if you can hear me actually. Here's another view of the waterfall, much closer. And we're gonna try to get some nice pics by going up here. There it is! It's so loud! <laughs> but really, really pretty. We are back in Taipei. We're done with the tour. And now we're gonna go back to the hotel. We bought a lot of uh, souvenirs and food for Pasalubong. Specifically, I have like five uh, cartons of jelly. <laughs> In here and it's really heavy but you know let's go let's run with it so the weather here is actually really nice today it's really windy it's humid but at least it's windier than yesterday yesterday was so hot I almost died but today is a good day so now we're gonna head back into the station and then we're gonna head home so we are at Taipei Main and it's only one station uh, away from Ximen so we will just take we are back in Shimending. We are going to Donkey to go shopping before we go to bed. So expect that damage will be done. That's what the D is for. Damage. We're here. Na 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 donkey. And I recently learned that their names are Dompan and Donko. So I laugh really hard. <laughs> so we made it to the third floor and we all have carts because we just know we're gonna get a lot of stuff. <laughs> Mascara removers only 271. Back home is around 700 pesos, so this is a steal. Myself looking for a new eyelash curler because my mom threw mine away because it was like ugly and old. So look at this, there's so many eyelash curlers. I might as well get a new one, right? <laughs> I think I'll get this. Because I've been wanting to try like these travel eyelash curlers for a while. I'm a huge fan of these Fugra that Calbi makes in Japan. And Choco Bananas are my faves. So yeah, I'll be getting a pack of that. This is what the cart's looking like so far. Bought a lot of snacks as well. Aside from the skincare, we are getting a tax refund because we spent over 2k on snacks. <laughs> we're done shopping at Donkey and now we're gonna get some street food. Ordered some scallion pancakes from the stall we found near Donkey. Hopefully it's good. Uh, they're still serving number 19 and we're 24. So still gonna be a while until our turn. Here's the pancake guys. Looks really good. I think we got the one with like uh, pork inside and cheese. So it's quite loaded. I'm just gonna wait for my cousins to come back before I try it. We also got some onion pie from here. And I'm really excited to try it as well. Hi, so I'm just gonna vlog about like the general situation where I am. 
So behind me is a souvenir store with a milk tea counter where I ordered milk tea. And that's because we haven't had our daily milk tea yet. Some of the fish balls and squid balls are here. And then no longer visible but the onion pie vendor somewhere there. I guess I'll end today's vlog here. We'll just go back to the hotel and eat all the snacks we bought. So see you guys tomorrow.